The life-giving gaff tree has supported the people of Arabia for centuries. Like the gaff tree, Al-Fahim's roots are deeply embedded in the soil from which the UAE emerged. It plays a key role in sustaining the nation's growth and development. Al-Fahim's growth parallels that of Abu Dhabi. It has grown extensively and prospered significantly in a very short time. Its journey towards prosperity and excellence embodies the vision and values of its founder, Abdul Jalil Al-Fahim. While his first business venture, a small store selling food and textiles situated on the outskirts of Al Ain, failed to thrive, Abdul Jalil had the foresight to move his enterprise into the city, where it prospered and established the roots for today's multifaceted group, which has an array of business interests. Foresight and a keen sense of duty and loyalty to his fellow countrymen were two of his key assets. Abdul Jalil Fahim was a self-built person. He taught us honesty, to be honest with ourselves and with the others. While largely self-made, Abdul Jalil also had the enduring support of good friends. He was blessed with the good fortune of meeting Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan. The two forged an enduring friendship. They were a great friend, and we are fortunate that this friendship had uh, uh, passed on to us with the uh, uh, children of Sheikh Zayed, that we all still have that family ties and friendship, and we, we are proud of that. Really. During Abu Dhabi's early development, Sheikh Zayed helped foster a strong local economy by directing government agencies to favor locally owned businesses. Uh, it wasn't easy in those days. It was a challenge to live on an island. People had to live a very meager way of life and try to sustain a livelihood. Despite these limitations, the determination of Sheikh Zayed to ensure the local population benefited directly from the country's newfound oil wealth merged well with Abdul Jalil's entrepreneurial spirit. Because of the need of the country, we had to, we started with automotive, we, electricity, we had to go out and get electricity, electrical company. So due to the need at the, at the time, we went out and reached for uh, suppliers and uh, manufacturers to supply the market. But as the company and the nation developed, Abdul Jalil was increasingly giving his time and attention to advising Sheikh Zayed. Honorary Chairman Mohammed Abdul Jalil Al Fahim found himself thrust into the business at an early age. Uh, it was a challenge, it was difficult, but I was young as well. I was enthusiastic, I wanted to make changes, I wanted to improve. One area where there has been significant improvement and change is the manner in which the group handles its automobile sales. Whenever any shipment of cars would come, they would be offloaded from the ships on barges. And as they roll off the barge, customer sat on them and drove off. And that was the fastest way of selling cars in those days. You didn't have to worry about washing them or re-delivering them. And everybody paid cash. So it wasn't very uh, unprofitable business. From automotive parts, Al-Fahim expanded into automotive vehicles. 
Today, Al-Fahim is the exclusive distributor for many of the most prestigious brands in Abu Dhabi and LA. Along with providing all automobile auxiliaries, it now holds over 50% of the luxury car market. The family has remained committed to finding new ways to help the country grow and prosper, investing in a range of sectors including oil and gas, property development and tourism. It quickly became Abu Dhabi's leading private hotel developer with a number of renowned addresses. The Al Fahim's expansion into the industrial realm saw it providing services to the oil and gas industry. The success of its Marjan oil field services division is a direct result of the group's central business philosophy. Customer is the backbone of the company. We are a service provider. We, are, we do not manufacture, you know, we provide service. Without the customer satisfaction, we won't be here and talking to you. The high level of customer satisfaction is a reflection of the investment that the group has made in developing its own talent. Today, it employs more than 1,700 people, hand-picked for their experience and expertise. Since we are a family business, our staff are treated as part of our family. The family theme that has been an integral part of the group's history remains as strong today. The eight brothers gather quarterly to review business strategies and assess future developments. Being successful in business is only the beginning. Driven by a sincere desire to make a positive difference, the company understands that to be truly successful, it's important to give something back. <laughs> نعرف همومه ونعرف مشاكله ونحاول ان نحن نساعده باللي الله يقدرنا عليه. The Al-Fahim Group is in the process of setting up an endowment. Each shareholder of Al-Fahim family will give back to this endowment and the worth of this endowment is around 360 million dirhams and the income of this endowment will go back to the community by ways of charitable events or since 1996, it has organized the annual Abdul Jalil Al Fahim Award for Excellence, which is aimed at motivating students, while the sponsorship of the Alain Football Club shows how the Al Fahim name has become an intrinsic part of Abu Dhabi life. Alain football team does not just represent a football team, it, it uh, represents part of this community, part of Abu Dhabi, part of the UAE, in and outside the country. Today, Abu Dhabi and the UAE move confidently forward under a new generation of leadership. The Al Fahim Group mirrors this success, with the company adopting a modern perspective, an enhanced business structure, and a readiness for the future. We always injecting the business with new blood, uh, new creative uh, people. And this will carry on throughout. This is how we began, and that's how we're, where we're going to go. But it is impossible to look towards the future without drawing on the past. The memory of Abdul Jalil Al Fahim remains a constant influence over the running of the group. The recent posthumous Abu Dhabi award was deserved recognition for his huge contribution towards the growth of the city he loved. The values we received from our late father helped us in building the Al Fahim group today. And we hope that we pass up these values to our next generation so that they can continue the growth of the Al Fahim group and the nation. I'm sure that the values of my late grandfather, Abdul Fahim, will be carried on by the next generation and they'll be able to continue the work that he started.
As one of the country's leading family businesses, Alfahim continues to expand, broadening its sphere to encompass regional and global opportunities.